think I would describe my work as, as almost kind of like a puzzle of transient moments. And, you know, unlike a regular puzzle where you're working with a reference, with my process, I, I have no clue what it'll end up looking like. And so I think whenever I have like a brush or a palette knife in my hand, it's really the only time where I can kind of shut everything off and just go and just be able to decompress. Each stroke to me is, is almost like a documentation of that specific moment, of that specific time. And it's something that I know I can never recreate and it's something that I can never recapture. Growing up in Indiana, token ethnic kid, you know, in my neighborhood, in my school. I was almost kind of mentally programmed to kind of hate myself and hate my culture and then really just kind of put my own uh, identity aside just to fit in. That's kind of where the ambiguity came in in my work, uh, just trying to figure out who I am. It really wasn't until I moved to L.A. where, for the first time, I saw like a Korean creative community. I met people in this space that were walking around with so much audacity and confidence, and it was blowing my mind. I'm like, who are these Koreans that are so confident in their own shoes? This is crazy. Like, I'm used to just trying to, you know, just not be seen. I found not only my art career and my, and my love for painting in L.A., but I found my own self-confidence and it allowed me to be audacious. It, it, it allowed me to take risks. You know, it, it's the ability to really kind of put yourself off from any path that was designed for you and really call your own shots.